we humans are full of biases and a lot of shortcomings. At the same time, that's the reflection of our evolution and our experiences, and could be a shortcut that we have learned from years of reporting a certain environment. How can we tell for sure that the kind of absolute lack of bias is a better strategy or right thing when the society has evolved to be that way for some reasons? So I think it puts us in another dilemma. Even simple concept as fairness, like there can be something might be fair to one group of people, but it might not be fair to another group of people. Who decides whose fairness matters the most? There's one sort of extreme thought. To the effect that, well, there's really no such thing as objective right and wrong. Everything is just relative. Something might be the right thing to do relative to my values, and the wrong thing to do relative to your values. And somehow there's no neutral arbiter. No, it's Alex's values are the right ones, and Songi's are the, the wrong ones. I mean, if that's what you think, then all bets are off. It's just pointless. It just turns out to be some big power struggle. Who's going to win by force, as opposed to who's going to win by argument, or who's going to be right at the end of the day? But if we set that aside and we agree that there really is something to discuss here and to argue over and to discover, then obviously there's no easy solution. I can't pull some book off my shelf and say, "Oh well, the answers to these ethical questions are all in this book." But at least there's something here that we can talk about and argue about and potentially find out. I think in engineers and even the executives of the big tech companies are not used to think about ethical, philosophical standards when implementing engineering product. It was always optimized against the performance efficiency. But then I think if we start asking questions about like if we are producing machines that are expected to make certain decisions in a certain way in certain environment, it becomes very important that for that to have some kind of standard and decisions in unforeseeable environment or circumstance. In that case, I think it's a problem of do we expect for those machines or AIs to have higher degree of ethical standard than human kinds. Or do we expect for that AI to act as just like the majority of the humans do, which is tainted with all sorts of different kind of short sights and biases and etc. And I think it kind of comes back to the question of what is higher performance? We've been only calculating the performance of AI using certain very linear standard, but if you're expecting higher degree of ethical standard. Does that mean AI has to be evaluated differently? I can imagine some ways in which AI could exceed human performance. Maybe not human competence, but human performance as far as ethical decisions go. Let me just give you what I had in mind. So it might be that when it comes to evaluating resumes. I naturally bias towards, let's say, men versus women. I just tend to put the thumb on the scale when it comes to evaluating a male resume versus a female. And it could be that, in theory, I could program some AI which would use exactly the same decision procedure as I would when evaluating resumes, but didn't have that thumb on the scale. So it's just like me, except it doesn't have this reflexive bias that I have towards men. So that's just a slightly better version of me. So that's one way in which AI could be a sort of cleaned-up, superior version of humankind. I mean, there's a wilder possibility, namely that AI. Could just be 
qualitatively very different as far as ethical reasoning goes from humans and come up with decisions about what to do, which we intuitively would think, you know, that's definitely not the right thing to do. But in fact, the AI has a much deeper understanding of ethics and much more knowledge of how ethical principles work and get traded off against each other than humans ever could. It's rather like computers can perform mathematical calculations that no human being could ever perform individually. And all we can do when a computer does that is just to marvel at the fact that it got the right answer. And you could, so you could fantasize that AI could do the same thing in the ethical realm. You know, we just marvel at the solution that it came up with. Okay, so we have to do this. Who would have thought it? I wouldn't have imagined that this is what morality demands. It seems so counterintuitive, but in fact, we have to trust the machine. I mean, that really is a fantasy for sure, but it's like a fantasy that's in a way worth fantasizing about, or it's interesting to wonder that could ever happen even in principle. Could the fundamental truths about ethics be sort of so inaccessible to ordinary humans that only some super powerful artificial intelligence could really understand what they were. Yes, we humans are full of biases and a lot of shortcomings. But at the same time, that's the reflection of our evolution and our experiences and could be a shortcut that we have learned from years of reporting a certain environment. And I agree that equal representation is very important and everything just for the sake of asking question, how can we tell for sure that the kind of absolute lack of bias is the better strategy or right thing when the society has evolved to be that way for some reasons. When we don't know like what is truly right or wrong in an absolute sense, everything is all relative. And if everything is relative, how can we say the complete lack of bias is always the right thing in their superior ethics? So I think it puts us in another dilemma. Right. I mean, I guess it's, a, it's an issue exactly what is meant by bias. So, I mean, there's one sense of bias in which having a bias is like no bad thing. I mean, if you're sort of biased towards resumes with impressive grade point averages or impressive educational records in other respects or something like that, that's a good thing. But if you're biased towards resumes from people with a particular gender or a particular skin color, that's a bad thing. So there's the kind of neutral sense of bias in which all good judgment involves bias of one kind or another, and that's like nothing to be ashamed of. And then there's bias in the sort of pejorative sense where to have a bias is really to take some irrelevant factor into account. And provided we can isolate those irrelevant factors, then I would have thought that AI itself is actually quite well suited to the task of solving this problem while ignoring these irrelevant factors, where some humans may find it very hard to ignore the relevant factors, even when, even when they're pointed out. Today we discussed a lot of like, that we don't have the right answer for like, telling what is right from wrong, what is bias, what is fairness. Whereas we expect for machines and algorithms to be equipped with all those judgments to begin with. Does that mean that the traditional way of developing new technology and proliferating the society with the technology has to be changed? 